Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna cook one of the most intimidating and scary vegetables. The artichokes. Yes friends, this vegetable can be fairly intimidating and a little bit scary. When I'm at the market many times when I buy it, people stop me and ask me how do you clean it? How do you cook it? And today I'm gonna conquer your fears. I'm gonna show you how to properly clean an artichoke and how to make a wonderful recipe out of it. Today we are gonna make the stuffed Italian artichokes. And why we should cook and eat the artichokes? Artichokes are very high in fibers and antioxidants. They have a lot of phytonutrients that helps and supports our body to detoxify, especially they support our liver function. And now guys, without further ado, let's continue with the recipe. For today's recipe, we are gonna use the following ingredients. The main ingredient is artichokes. You can find different varieties of artichokes in the market from green globus to violet ones. Each one of them is perfect for this recipe. And if you find artichokes with a long stem like this one in here, it will be perfect because the stem is edible and we will use it for the stuffing. Now we are gonna start with cleaning the artichokes. First prepare a bowl of cold water and take a lemon, cut it into quarters and squeeze it inside the water. We are gonna use the technique of the lemon water to slow the oxidation process. As you are gonna see a little bit later when we clean the artichokes they tend to get brown very fast. Another method is to directly rub the lemon into the artichoke. And now we are gonna clean the artichoke. First we are gonna cut the stem and we are gonna leave it aside because we are gonna use it later for the stuffing. Then we are gonna trim the top of the artichoke. Usually I calculate three fingers and make a cut. And then since this recipe is calling for the heart of the artichoke, I will pull off the outer leaves. These leaves are very fibrous and tough and I will end up with the soft green artichokes heart. I'm gonna clean the base of the artichokes from all fibrous and tough parts like I do in here. And as a last step, we have to remove the furry chalk. The furry chalk is inside the flower, so carefully open the petals to expose the internal petals. Then with the help of a knife or a spoon, uh, just take off the furry chalk that is inside. This is inedible and is also a choking hazard. This way you will clean everything and also you will make space for the stuffing. And now it's ready to get stuffed and I'm gonna put it into the lemon water of course so it won't get brown. At the end I will clean the stem from the tough and fibrous parts and of course I'm gonna put it into the lemon water so it will slow the oxidation. Continue doing the same with all the artichokes, clean them and then put them in the lemon water. And when we are finished and ready with the artichokes, we are gonna start preparing the stuffing. Take a bowl and add the breadcrumbs, some garlic, salt and black pepper, then the grated vegan cheese, some fresh chopped parsley and three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Mix the ingredients until they are well combined. Leave them aside and we are gonna prepare now the stems. Take the stems out of the lemon water and finally chop them. 
in case your artichokes didn't have long stems you can continue using the stuffing mixture that we have prepared before add the chopped stems into the stuffing mixture mix them well and finally take a pan pour some olive oil and let's start preparing the stuffed artichokes Take the artichokes out of the lemon water, then open a little bit the petals and fill the artichoke with the stuffing until they are well packed. Usually I use 3 tablespoons of stuffing mixture to fill an artichoke, then I push a little bit the stuffing inside the artichoke and I put the artichoke standing up into the pan. Repeat this for all the other artichokes and then add one glass of water, cover them and let them simmer over medium heat for 30 to 35 minutes. When ready, serve them warm. This is a delicious dish idea. Serve it with some fresh parsley and enjoy it. I hope you really enjoyed this recipe and if you liked it, please don't forget to put a thumb up, to leave a comment below and of course to subscribe for more healthy recipes in the future. Thank you for watching and see you at my next recipe.